Yeah, we can do something like oh, that. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah. Hi, my name is Olivier Assayas, and I'm talking with Diff. I wanted to make the novelistic version of the 1970s, to represent the, the 1970s as I had experienced them. Well, what I was really interested in when I was making uh, Something in the Air was to make a movie that was defined by both this intimate personal truth in conjunction with a generational moment of collective energy and to recreate how they were experienced collectively. Personal memory becomes collective memory. Il y a point ici de satisfaction véritable et solide que tous nos plaisirs ne sont que vanité, que nos mots sont infinis. I remember that schoolroom. I remember teachers who were good teachers who were trying hard to explain something that we were not that receptive to, meaning there was nothing wrong with what they what they were teaching us. We, we just did not have the patience or did not understand it, but there was something to gain and we did not gain it. I remember selling that newspaper, which was, you know, it was, it was a blend of uh, the free press and the political press of the time, which were two different things, right? I mean, you know, it's, you, 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 you had uh, the, the, the 70, in terms of 70s youth culture, you, 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 you had political newspapers, radical political newspapers, and you had the free press. There was this constant feeling of tension, uh, and, and it was very confrontational. It, there, there was this generation divide. The generation of our parents did not understand us. They, they had no idea what was going on with, 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 with the youth, and eventually the state was still very structured and rea reacted, could react pretty brutally. I decided that this movie was taking place at a certain period and I wanted to represent one of the extremely violent demonstrations of that time. It was like the first time they also used this, this technique of chasing the demonstrators on, on, on bikes, you know, like one, one of the cops is driving the bike and the other one has a stick and that would just generate a lot of, lot of panic. I really wanted to recreate the sense of panic one had. I remember, you know, just being a kid and, and the confrontation with cops who all of a sudden are charging and they have sticks and there's, and there's uh, tear gas and all. It's just uh, scary. I mean, for, for my generation, I suppose it's the experience of war. Lucky, luckily, uh, there, there were very few dead, but uh, it's, 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 uh, there is this sense of violence and panic. I, I wanted to recreate that. Something in the air is extremely personal, it's intimate, it's a lot of things are the, my very specific memories of very specific moments, but ultimately it's the closest to a generational movie that I've ever made. I, I think it's a movie about uh, collective energy and how it can carry you, how somehow you, it, it, it ends up defining you.